God bless America. So Nick, so. Nick Rice, who you can't yeah. see right now because he's operating the camera, got himself into some into some poor quality protein last night. I'm speaking from experience, I've been there. It gives you some nasty, nasty gas. This whole, look at the room, Nick. This whole room is filled with the stench of Nick. <laughs> Sunday vlog is back. It's gonna be a regular thing now. Regular. Can I do like a Casey Neistat thing where I where I go to the beach and then commission an airplane to fly with a banner and say the vlog is back? I don't think I don't think that many people watch the Sunday vlogs. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do oceans as though we're in Northwest Oklahoma, where Garth Brooks came from. Yeah, I grew up in Oklahoma. You call me out on the water, the great unknown, where feet may fail. There it is. It's kind of hit up. You don't have to say all of it. Well, actually, no, you I have lice. And then, um. You know. What would you do? If someone came onto the stage and just punched, and right punched me in the gut. During like, like a worship Howie set, loves. during the middle of How He Loves, yeah. I'd sing it like uh, I'd sing it like John Mark Millen. Hello. What would you do if somebody came and punched you right in the gut when you're playing drums? I hit him with the sticks. buy steak that's already packaged and in the refrigerated section mm, at the supermarket. That's good. Go see your butcher. He'd be happy to go to the back and cut you off a nice, thick porterhouse. That will serve you well. When I was at Harris Teeter this week getting steaks for tonight, they had one and a half inch steaks and he's like, I'm gonna have to cut you some more, which I smiled. And I was like, can you make them a little thicker? He said, those are one and a half inch. I was like, let's go two inches. And he looked at me like I was, I had two heads. And I was like, trust me, sir. I have a culinary degree. I want two inch thick porterhouses. They were 32 ounces each and they are gonna be awesome. Fred Flintstone steaks. Pro Getting ready for Easter. Pro move. Here's your culinary tip of the day. You're gonna ask yourself, how in the world am I gonna grill a 32 ounce porterhouse? Well, here's the trick. You sear it on the grill for about five minutes on each side, then you toss that bad boy in the oven, let it cook in the, let it roast technically in the oven while it cooks to the temperature you like. And then as they finish, you can pull them out. The well done ones can stay in there longer. That's how you can ensure that your steak will be cooked, it won't be burnt and it'll be awesome. Does it have a nice crust when you do it that Yeah, way? when you sear it on the grill, it's gonna give you all of the caramelization of the meat that you and want. And it stays kind of crusty in the oven? Yep, and you can keep it on the grill as long as you want, but then finish it off in the oven. It works, trust me. Oh, and then we're gonna make a burgundy sauce with the mushrooms. Burgundy. Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. Mm. It's gonna be good. Lead me to the cross.
Oh, really? Yeah. So you, what are you doing? <laughs>